Grouping is the most powerful and interesting option of a pivot table. Once you get into it, you will find it more useful for your daily hard work of creating any of the report. And today, into this video tutorial, we are going to learn how to create groups into your pivot table report according to the date and time. I'll show you each and every option here and create some of the reports like this one where I will get every of the sum according to the dates like this one, months, time, quarter, seconds or hours and according to the years also. So welcome back everyone on a new video of Microsoft Excel pivot table and dashboard series on your favorite channel technical portal. This is your host Pritham and if this video gets 100 likes, I will give you the link of downloading this excel workbook into my description box. So make sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get all notifications from this channel whenever a new video comes. So without further ado, let's begin. At first we need to create a pivot table, right? Now guys, if you didn't watch my previous videos of pivot table and dashboard, I'll highly recommend you to watch that videos at first. There I have given some basic to advanced information to create pivot table and work on it. Go to the insert tab and create a pivot table. Click on OK. Now at first let me create the report according to the dates, right? So let me click and drag this date here or you can also drag it here, right? I'm dragging it here. Look at here, the dates has been created successfully. Now here I need the count of resolved queries as the values filled here, right? Look at here, the sum of resolved and I need the count option here. Look at here, okay, that's all I need. Now you can notice that I have a very complex database and a database we do not have any sense into here, right? So how to group it properly? Right click here of the data where you want to create the groups and click on groups. Look at here, whenever this database contains any of the date where you want to create the groups, it automatically pop up as these options here. Now here I will show each and every options here of this pop-up window. So watch this video till the end. Look at here. At first let me show you how to group according to the months. Just click on it. Look at here. You do not need to hold any buttons like control or shift. Just click on it which one you want and click on OK. Look at here. The date has been grouped according to the months. Now. If you do not want the groups according to the months, just right click on it, go to the groups option, click on the months again to unhighlight it and click on quarters if you want to create the quarter. Look at here, here is only one quarter. Now again if you want to group it according to the years and quarters also, click on ok. Look at here, we got two options here where I have quarter 1 in 2014 and quarter 1 in 2015 also. Right click on it again, go to the groups. Now I need the months also here. Click on OK. Look at here, another group has been created according to the quarter 1, years and months. Now if you don't want the months, years, quarters and anything else, you just want the date only. You can do this also. Just click on here and click on the days only. Click on OK. Look at here. The data has been created successfully according to the dates only. And it is also converted into date date and month format. Now if you want to create any of the group according to the hours in which hour how many calls are resolved. You can do this also like this. Just uncheck the days here. Click on OK. Look at here, at 9 a.m. 547 calls are resolved, 10 a.m. 529 and so on, right? You can also group it according to the hours and months also. Look at here, you can do many of the things within the groups option here. 
if you want the database to be created according to the department also you can also do it like this right the data will be showed according to your requirement and that doesn't take so much time it has been created within just simple way so that's all for today friends hopefully you like this video i'll come back soon with another interesting video till then keep learning keep supporting this channel and keep practicing